Frank, two uh, great things that are happening in our community, and a lot of that has to do with the local team, Iowa Wild. Uh, they did play last night. Another great game coming up uh, this weekend. More details on that as we have Jacob Bourne joining us in Studio Media Relations Manager. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me this morning. Besides a lot of action on the ice, uh, you guys are all about having great action in our community that as correct. well. And there's a wonderful event people can be a part of tomorrow. Can you explain a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, so we are teaming up with uh, Tame the Hunger for our annual Tame the Hunger event. It's an event at Hyvie Hall uh, from two sessions, one to three and three to five, and more than uh, 200 people, including uh, our full Iowa Wild team is gonna come out and help uh, package meals for the hungry in Iowa. Really? How cool yeah. is that? Yeah, we are aiming for 40,000 meals. 40,000? 40, 40,000 meals. You got we, your work cut off for you, We hit you? about uh, 35 last year. This year we're trying to bump that up a little bit more and hit uh, a clean 40. And it's great. It's a great way to come out for the for our players to meet and mingle with our fans, yeah. while also uh, really impacting the community for the the elderly, those who are malnourished, and really giving them uh, food as we bring get into the springtime. And that's really important uh, to the wild because you guys, since you got here uh, from like week number one, you've been involved in the community. Yeah, it's been a big uh, pillar of our organization to make sure that we are in the community because we know that our fans are paying a lot of money to come out to see us play, and we we really want to show that. We are here to make sure that we are a part of the community, however that may be, whether it's just meeting with our fans, having post-game skates, or really giving back to it to be able to make sure that the lives of everybody here in Iowa are enriched by us being here. Absolutely. So throw on a hairnet, give a couple yeah. hours of your time tomorrow, a couple different sessions, and then you're going to give back as well because if people donate their time, you're going to be uh, giving uh, people some tickets to go see Yes, the game. anybody who uh, signs up to Tame the Hunger, which you can do at our website, you'll be able to uh, get two tickets to a future game. There Wonderful. Is. Okay, so reminding everybody, this is tomorrow. Just head on down to High V Hall. One session starting at 1, the other session starting at 3. And remember, if you do volunteer to sign up for this and know that you are giving back uh, to help feed the hungry in our communities and well beyond, you're going to get two tickets to the April 2nd Iowa Wild Game. So that's pretty amazing. 40,000 yeah. meals, that is the goal. 40,000 meals is the goal, yes. Okay. And I definitely think last year we, uh, we cranked out more than half of what we wanted to do in that first session. So I think well, it's definitely attainable this year. And okay. this is uh, something that anybody can do, right? We, we, oh, yeah. we, we proved this in the concourse of a game, uh, mm. one of the mm. games that we got kids together, families, mm. parents, everyone could uh, do something to help create this meal. Absolutely, it's super easy. Uh, it's mostly dry food, so that way it's not going to perish in any way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's just packaging it up, sealing it up, and then uh, putting it in containers, so that way it's easy for uh, outreach to send them out. That love it, awesome. love it. Okay. Great bonding experience. Too. Yeah, Absolutely. and you're doing well at the same time. Okay, so let's talk about a big game yes. uh, that's coming up on Saturday. In fact, we're talking Marvel superheroes involved with this game. Yeah, so Friday night we have our Marvel superhero night, which is against the Texas Stars. That's right. And it's going to be a very cool event because for the first time we are going to have Marvel themed jerseys. Nice. What? They look absolutely fantastic. Go to iowawild.com or any of our socials. Iowa Wild Facebook, Iowa Wild on Twitter, or uh, Iowa Wild on Instagram. And you'll be able to see some of the photos of the, of the jerseys that John Hamper designed. Uh, they're Captain America themed. It's very, very cool. And after the game, we will auction off those jerseys towards Make-A-Wish. I was going to say, those jerseys Aww. are going to have to become available for the, the Marvel fans that are out there. Yes, we will. So one of the jerseys will be available for raffle. So if you can't uh, attend our post-game auction, then you can go and try to win a raffle prize. But otherwise, they'll all be auctioned off after the game. After the game, okay. Yes, and all of our benefits will go to Make-A-Wish. That works. Oh, uh, that's I love a lot of that. fun, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to have to switch with Mark. I want that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and there is also a game on Saturday uh, at, at 6 o'clock, so we want to make sure people know about that. You also have a fantastic bobblehead. Uh, I love yes, your bobblehead. Hanging heads. out Thank on, you. <laughs> on our desk this morning. Uh, tell us uh, who the lucky individual was this time around. So this is uh, the third of our set, yes. and it's Jerry Mayhew, a.k.a. Jerry Time. He gets his own bobblehead <laughs> this year. And, love it. And uh, we had two bobbleheads earlier in the year, Sam Annis and Justin Clues, and so this completes the set. All three of them together form a little ice rink with all three of them doing a little different. And uh, I different like the parts. ice rink part of it too. People mm. haven't noticed that before. That, that is really neat. You can just build them all together. Exactly. We, put, we wanted to make them collector's items. We wanted it yeah. to have fans really want to come out to these games and get these bobbleheads. And the characters that Sam and Jerry Time are, uh, they just made it perfect for bobbleheads. And with the career year that he's having, uh, it's definitely fun for him to get this one right here at the end. And how much is uh, having a bobblehead at the game uh, increase the interest of people coming out to the games? You see a lot of 
of people wanting to get these bobbleheads, yeah. especially because we chose guys who were fan favorites. Sam Manis, everybody loves him. He's such a great guy. Same with Jerry Time. He's such a, a presence in the locker room that when we wanted to do it, we knew that we were going to get a lot of involvement. And as soon as we got it, uh, Fair State, his alma mater, were Im was immediately contacting us trying to figure out how they could get some bobbleheads oh, because all that? of their fans wanted them. As so, I say, he's right. having an incredible season this year with it's the Iowa been, Wild. Yeah, he's one of those guys who came out of college from Fair State on a uh, amateur tryout, really kind of bought into the system that we were playing here, had a good year last year in his rookie year, and now he's close to 60 points. How about that? Doing and, incredible things. And this is the this is what you want to have happen. You want these folks to uh, you know blossom when they're here because that opens up the eyes uh, to folks in the bigger rinks, right? Absolutely. We uh, we have a mantra in the Iowa Wild that the cup runs through Des Moines. That anytime that Minnesota to have a chance at the Stanley Cup and to really contend for one, they have to develop their players down in Iowa. And so really having these guys perform down at this level gives them a chance to make it at the next level. No, for those people who have never been to a, a wild game, uh, the speed of the game is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely. People may think there's a little bit of a negative connotation with minor league hockey, but this is professional hockey. These guys put all the time and work that they can into these games. And uh, the system that Coach Army has us running, it is a run-and-gun high-speed uh, offense and it is a very very good time to come out and see the wild play while we're in this playoff push and it's going to be an exciting time here in the next month and a half and hopefully maybe into even may and late june okay so what has to happen in order to make the playoffs now right now we have eight games left and six of them are at home so you have plenty of time for you to come out and see an iowa wild game but we need to get any combination of 11 standings points through Iowa Wild wins or losses from the teams in 5th, 6th, 7th, or 8th place. Okay, so explain what a, a point is. How do you get points? Uh, you get two points for a win, one point for an overtime or a shootout loss, and then you get zero points for a regulation loss. So if you make it to overtime, you get a point. If you win, you get two. And we just need any combination of us getting those 11 points or teams uh, out of the playoff picture losing and not getting those points. Okay, so that's, it, is a, 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 it is reachable. It is mm -hmm. attainable. Basically what we're saying is we've got to win. We gotta so win. Yeah. you need to come out, cheer them on. Uh, it just makes the uh, game and entertainment even that much more fun. When's bobblehead night? When do bobblehead we is uh, Saturday. Yeah, uh, yeah, I get the bobblehead, okay? <laughs> Jackie runs around I get the bobblehead. during the game. She has a lot of fun. I get comments every time you're there because you want to know who's having more fun, the people playing the game or Jackie yeah, in the crowd? it's always a blast. Mm -hmm. uh, so we highly encourage you to come out and check a g out a game. So let's kind of cover everything once again. Tomorrow, uh, the players are coming out, the community can come out, and we can make a big difference with Tame the Hunger. A group yep. effort, yep. Yep, tomorrow yeah. is Tame the Hunger. Friday is going to be a uh, Marvel superhero night with the special Captain America jerseys. And then Saturday is the Jerry Time bobblehead. Okay, Boom. Now, let's go back to Tame the Hunger real quick. Uh, people, what about parking for tomorrow afternoon for Tame the Hunger? They just park in the regular, regular yep, lot? regular lot, you're totally clear. Just say you're with, uh, you're with Tame the Hunger and then let you ride it. There you go, perfect. Love That's that. Cool. Remember, if you do volunteer just a couple hours of your time, you do to get tickets to the upcoming April 2nd Iowa Wild game. So if people want more details and how they can get involved, because really not that many home games no. left considering the season so we want to get as many people there as possible get tickets learn how they can get bobbleheads and beyond where do they need to go for those details best place to do that is go to iowild.com and follow us on our socials uh, iowild on facebook iowild on twitter and iowa wild on instagram that Absolutely, works. and okay. don't forget about the app because uh, it'll keep yes. you informed uh, with everything right on your phone. And let's kind of ding in, let you know what's happening. That's awesome. All right, well, good luck. Let's get the playoffs. Thank you very right, much. Thank let's you. get the playoffs. Good right. to see you. It's. Uh,